at the mechanic. Car problem. Hello, Catherine. How are you? I'm well. Thank you, Joseph. How can I help you? I have a problem with my car. It won't start when I press the start button. Well, have you checked the battery? Maybe it needs to be charged or replaced. Yes, I checked the battery and it's in good condition, but the car still won't start. Have you checked the oil level? Maybe the oil level is low. I check the oil level and it's also correct. Well, maybe there's an issue with the electrical system. Have you tried checking the electrical circuits? No, I haven't checked the electrical circuits. How do I do that? I can help you with that. Let's open the car's front hood and inspect the electrical circuits. Maybe there's a loose wire or a problem with one of the devices. All right, let's do it. After a moment. Fixed. It was a burnt fuse. Thank you so much. I didn't know this problem could be due to the electrical system. No problem. I'm glad I could help. How much do I owe you? It's okay. It didn't even take me 15 minutes. Thanks so much. Bye. You're welcome. And feel free to contact me if you need help. Sport. Jumping rope. Hi, Matteo. How are you? Hi, Mary. I'm well, thanks. And you? I'm also doing well, thank you. Do you enjoy sports? Yes, I love sports. I work out at the gym four times a week. Great. I also like sports. I'm always looking for new challenges. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, I have an exciting idea. Why don't we try jumping rope? It's a classic, but it's a great challenge for the body and mind. That sounds great. I've never really tried jumping rope, except when I was little. But I'm up for that challenge. Can you teach me how to jump rope? Of course, I can teach you. We'll need a rope that reaches shoulder height and proper sports shoes to prevent injuries. Could we start early tomorrow morning? Of course. It will be a new way to start our day. I'll bring the rope and we'll meet at the gym at 6 a.m. Great. I'm very excited. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm also excited. We'll need good preparation and warm-up. Yes, we should always ensure we're properly warmed up before starting exercises to prevent injuries. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 sharp. Visit to the hospital. Hello, Vincent. I'm glad you decided to join me to visit our friend in the hospital today. Hi. Yes, I'm also excited to see him and make sure he's feeling okay. Excellent. I have prepared a small bag for him to put some important things in. I wonder if you would like to add anything else to the bag. Yes, a new book I bought for him and some candies he likes. I also brought some flowers to put in the room. Great. I've also brought some magazines and some clothes he might need. It seems we've prepared everything we need to visit our friend in the hospital. Is there anything else we should prepare? I don't think so. We just need to make sure not to forget our visitor card. Great. Let's go to the hospital and visit our sick friend. Yes, let's go. At the cinema, booking a seat for a movie. Hello, how can I help you today? Hi, I want to book two seats for the movie Jurassic World at 8 p.m. Sure. Do you want the reservation for a specific day? Yes, for Thursday, please. Perfect. As for the seats, do you want them in the front, middle or back row? I'd prefer the seats in the back row for a better view. Excellent. Two seats in the back row have been booked for Thursday at 8 p.m. in theatre number three for the movie Jurassic World. Do you want to order food while watching the movie? Yes, please. I want a large box of popcorn and some soft drinks. Understood. It has been booked as well. You can pay when you arrive. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? I want to pay by credit card, please. All right. The reservation has been made with the credit card. You can go to the movie theatre on the booked day and enjoy the movie with your ordered food and drinks. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. You're welcome. Goodbye. At university, chatting about studying. Hello, Raphael. How are you? Hi, Elisa. I'm fine, thanks. And you? 
I'm fine too, thanks. How are things going with your studies? Regarding my medical career, everything is going well, but sometimes studies are exhausting, especially when you have many pending assignments. Work and studies are both draining. I totally understand how you feel. I get tired too with my translation major. There are many subjects I have to study and I also have kids, as you know, and many household tasks. Oh, that's right. Do you have any tricks to manage all of it? I try to plan my time carefully and divide it up into different tasks. I also try to focus on what I'm working on at the precise moment. That's impressive, especially for a mother who's also studying at university. I also have a tip for you. Try to make some time for yourself as well, like reading a new book or listening to a useful podcast or exercising. That's good advice. Thanks. I like to go for a walk or swim. Great. It can't be denied that physical activity plays an important role in maintaining mental health. Yes, and I also try to spend time with friends and family on weekends to improve my mood. That's very important. Sometimes relaxing and spending time with friends and family can help relieve stress and improve the overall mood. Sometimes it can be challenging to find time for it. Of course, but it's important to maintain the balance between study, social life and physical activity so we can face all the challenges with strength. All right, but sometimes it can be difficult to find the perfect balance between all aspects of life. In that case, I always try to focus on the most important priorities and organize my time properly. Yes, that's very important. It's also helpful to remember that nothing is 100% perfect. So we should try to enjoy life as much as possible and not worry too much about things we can't control. That's true. Thanks for the chat. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and share ideas and advice. Same here. Thanks again. See you soon. Goodbye. Do you have suggestions for other everyday situations you'd like us to cover in our next video? Leave it in the comments and remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video.